Welcome to All Yukis Tarot. We are back again with another channel message for the collective. But before we jump right in and get started, I just want to take a moment, say hi, and welcome to new subscribers. I am so, so, so happy to have you on board with us. Thank you for becoming part of the All Yukis tribe. As always, it is an absolute honor and blessing to read for each and every single one of you. That being said, we're going to jump in. Let's see what Spirit has for you all this morning. What does Spirit have? I want this. Wow, the Emperor. All right, let's see. What, what goes with this Emperor? I want this. All right, Judgment. Tell me more. Wow, okay. Collective, you have an emperor coming in your direction. I hear this is a boss. Um, so whether masculine or feminine, this is someone standing in their boss energy, their leader. They, they've got that leadership energy. Uh, it just kind of emanates from this person. They may have, um, I don't want to say like a royal, they, they've got some status, I want to say. Something about status is coming through as well. So this person may have a lot uh, physically in their world um, or creating that or just an air of that. Um, I'm not quite certain, but I feel like it's just kind of emanating and pulsating off this card. A lot of big energy. This person's, I hear this person's a big deal. Um, and they are looking to rise up as the lover. We've got Gabriel blowing the horn, rising the lovers up from the grave. Um, and what I'm kind of seeing here is this emperor thinks it's time in their life to rise up from the grave and become the lover again. They're ready to take the fool's leap. Um, they're hoping that it's not going to end up in this uh, sad energy, dejected, rejected type of energy. Um, but they're going to be strong and they're going to take that leap anyway. I feel like this is a person who may have suffered sleepless nights when it comes to love and romance and um, mental swords, just stressors when it comes to this. But I feel like this person's been off in search of, and I do kind of feel like I want to whisper like quiet. This person's been quietly searching for the right type of person as they healed. Um, I feel like there was a healing process that needed to take place with this person. They were stuck in a river of tears type of energy. Now, I'm saying this person could be you, could be the person coming in. Get it how you fit in. Um, these are general readings, so always take what resonates. Toss the rest. If it's not for you, leave it on the board. It's for someone else, right? Um, so this person had to go through their river of tears. There are still two standing cups in the background, but this person was just not yet ready to look towards those opportunities. Now it seems like they've maybe worked through some of the mental swords, um, gone off in search of something that's going to fill those gaps um, where they want it to be filled. And what better to do that with than the Ten of Cups with emotional fulfillment and happiness. Collective, I think this person sees that with you. Um, I feel like you are the choice that this person is coming towards or you will be. Yeah, I hear you're everything. Um, you've just got it all. You are all that this person could want. Now we've got this hanged man in reverse. Again, this person may have been holding off for just a little bit. Look at this. Wow. They want to balance things out in their life. They see you as the soulmate. You are the match. There isn't anything sweeter in this tarot deck than this card. Um, the soulmate connection, the sweetness that flows, the growth, the possibility of growth that surrounds the two of these soulmates is amazing. So this person wants to step into their king of cups. Um, that emotional knowledge that they have, maybe they just want the opportunity to expand and to share it. This might be a brand new type of opportunity for this person. They may have been stalled for quite a while, but as I always say with this hanged man, this is someone who puts themselves on pause uh, to make sure that they know what they want, to make sure that they see clearly before they step towards what they truly want. This person has decided that they want to become the lover. So they want to really dive into this aspect of self. I really love it. They want the forward movement there. Um, you know, they're not quite certain where it's gonna lead, but they know that there's two options. I can either take the option and become the lover or 
uh, I can miss out, right? So one way or the other, and I feel like this person's saying, I see the opportunity. I see that this could be something that could grow between this person and myself. Am I going to miss out on it? I feel like, no, they want to take it. Yeah. Wow, do they want to take it. They've got this ace of cups to offer. They've got a huge overflowing love that is just emanating from them. And I feel like it's because they're looking at you. Yeah, they see you as the counterpart. You can't make this up. They want to put the work in. Holy cow, spirit. Blowing my mind this morning. Um, I just feel like this is what's, this is what's coming. Um, this person is coming with, I want to say one hell of an offer. Um, they really know what they want. And I really like this. This is someone who really knows what they want. And when they know what they want, they go for it. This is a winner. This is someone that, um, you know, doesn't take no for an answer. I seen this thing yesterday and it's coming into my head. It was, um, it was like at a sports game and there was this, uh, character that was, uh, walking around the stands and he offered this lady a little teddy bear and she said no the first time so he went back and he got a bigger one and then he did that a couple times and every time the bear got the bear got so huge that when he flopped it over top of her she couldn't she couldn't even be seen and it's like how can you say no to that and you could see the little character guy was cheering and he's like there you go um and I feel like this is that type of person it's like oh that's not good enough hold on let me go back to the drawing board this is the type of person that's not going to want to give up. They're going to give you the best of themselves because um, they know what's at stake. They can see where this is going to go or where they want it to go. Very persistent. Um, and I like that because when you're persistent, you're going to be consistent. I love it. I think that's amazing energy. Yeah. Ready to hop in like the fool. This person could be here any day now. They could be here as soon as today. Within the next hour. Who knows? All right. Where do I want to go? This energy is so powerful again today. All right, let's see. We're hopping into this soulmate type energy. Let's see. What do we have here? Intervention. Rescue others involved. Trash. You know, okay, totally different energy. On the flip, I want to say. Um... There is someone who has been down and out. Um, we have the hamster wheel here, and I feel like it was in reverse. I feel like this person's just gotten off the roller coaster. Um, they feel like the clown in the situation. They feel like they've been thrown away. Um, they may have been going through some financial things. Uh, this could have been a divorce. It could be child support, alimony, uh, you know, um, legal system stuff they could have been going through. Um, they may have had friends jump in. Now, I say they, but this could also be you. So, like I said, get in how you fit in. But I do feel like someone's embarrassed. Um, I feel like this person who's going through this is embarrassed. You know, I, I hear something along the lines of once you lose it all and the mask falls off, you're finally free to be exactly who you are. It's like there's nobody left to impress. And I feel like that's where this person is. I feel like before their life was have the nice car, put on a show, keep that mask on tight, um, show the world how amazing you are, flawless, um, filled with purpose, right? And it's like, where some of that may have been true, I feel like a lot of that was just putting on a show because they felt like that's what the world does. You put on a show for the world and that's how you get where you're going. And I feel like in some ways, yes. And in other ways, no, that can also become something that stops you from actually expanding, right? Because you get to a point where you have to keep that mask on. Well, this person hit a rough patch and it's like everything spilled out onto the table for all eyes to see around this person. It's like they can't put on the show anymore because everything is out in the open, right? And I feel like they're kind of feeling like a clown. They're kind of feeling a little embarrassed. But I feel like little does this person know 
this is where life actually begins. So this could be you or someone that you're dealing with or soon to be dealing with. This could be a family member for somebody. I just, it's like you know this person um, or you will know this person. I feel like they felt trapped in their life um, with the way things were going. They had to keep putting on that show and it feels, I want to say it feels so good to have your cover blown. It's like, I feel like this person is getting to that point where they're realizing it's like, I can do anything I want now and I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to show up this way. Um, I feel like somebody might be coming back, bargaining with you, negotiating with you. It's like maybe they left you in the past because you didn't fit the bill. You didn't look like you fit into that picture perfect, pristine um, life that they they were leading at that time. Um, you didn't fit, but I feel like the funny thing was is you were absolutely perfect. And if they could have admitted that to you, they would have. It's like, I feel like this person did what they could not to hurt your feelings, but I do feel like it was maybe inevitable. It just happened. Um, we do have Archangel Michael here. Yeah, look, I get that feeling that this person's just going to pop up out of the blue. I feel like you are being protected, and I don't feel like you have to be protected from this person. I feel like this person is actually a more authentic person. Uh, I feel like you'll get more authenticity from this person than you've ever seen uh, from them before. I just feel like they, they have no reason to hide now. So it's like, oh, you're imperfect, where before that was that was a no-go, that was a deal breaker, right? You you expressed your flaws. I couldn't be with you, right? It didn't fit my my look, right? Now this person's coming in and saying, you know, they might give you an apology as well. It's like I I was you know, I was leading a different kind of life. I'm so sorry that, you know, I treated you the way that I did. I do kind of get that energy. I feel like it's this person's wish to come back in. Um, they don't know how you're going to react to them. They can't quite see or imagine how you might react to them when they tell you this truth. But I feel like there's something very freeing when it comes to this. Um, let's see. What else, Spirit? Yeah, they're focused on you. They're focused on making this happen. They could have searched you up if maybe you're not as easy to find now. There could have been a little time, a little distance in between here. Um, I want to say months to years. You know, I'm not going to give a, sp a specific amount because I feel like it's different for everybody. Could have been a few weeks. Could have been a few months. Could have been a few years. Um... I feel like this person's looking towards you because they actually want the commitment. Long-term relationship. They could see that with you. It's like, I feel like you had everything they wanted, but they couldn't go for you. It just, it's like they didn't want to face uh, the ridicule or they didn't want to, because if they choose someone who's perfectly imperfect versus they're perfect, people would have seen through them or started to see through them and they weren't ready for everything to come crashing down. You know, eventually they were on that road to it getting there, but they weren't ready for it yet, right? I guess they just figured if they could keep it up their whole life, they probably would have, right? But Spirit had other plans. Um, I feel like this person's not as anxious or as scared and panicked as they were in the past. Um, it's like... People are looking, but they're not as expectant upon this person anymore. It's like they can finally breathe easy. I hear I can be myself, which is probably a bunch of relief. It's so funny to see the anxiety in reverse because I feel like that's what came from this. Um, we do have the divine feminine in the upright. I feel like they just know, I feel like this is your energy. Um, I feel like they know that you're a nurturer that you're kind, you're a soft place to land. And maybe they feel like you would be compassionate if you heard the full story. I feel like this person at this point would not be embarrassed to give you the whole story. They might even be at a place where they can laugh at themselves. Like, I can't believe I acted that way. I'm so sorry. And I feel like it'll be so genuine that 
I feel like you might not be able to help yourself. You might fall for this person. I feel like this person fell for you a long time ago and maybe you wanted to try with this person. I, that's the kind of energy that I'm getting here. Um, yeah, they're putting everything out on the table. There's that offer, uh, offer, proposal, commitment. This is what they want. They view you as a soulmate. Um, yeah, I feel like they were just going through or they're still finishing up a little bit of the legalities that comes to maybe some of the financial things they had to go through or separating of. They could have been in a marriage, um, you know, or a relationship that was very committed for quite a while. Um, but I feel like this person's out of all that now and they want to come in your direction. I feel like they're trying to hurry up and rush in your direction so they don't miss out on you. I am kind of getting that for some as well. For you, you might be looking at this like it was ancient history. This did come out in reverse, but I feel like um, the past returns is kind of what I want to say. History repeats, but I don't feel like it's in in a way that ends. it ends differently, I want to say. Um, yeah, ascension has taken place for this person. Um, so the path itself that you're taking now is similar, but it's going to be on a higher platform. Both of you have learned quite a bit. You're almost like interviewing each other. It's like seeing how far you've come. This person's seeing how far they want you to see how far they've come. You want them to see how far you've come. I feel like there's been a lot of growth and there can be a lot of happiness too. I love it. I'm going to cut it here. This energy is coming back through. I don't know how heavy of a past this could have been, had a lot involved for some, for others. It was just, um, a, I hear paths crossing, but it, nothing too serious. So, um, it's like it just didn't come together then. Like maybe you were meant to see each other, but it not to come into play until later on, right? There's some sort of past, but maybe not a heavy one. Um, looks like gorgeous energy. Um, this person had to get through a healing process because they were feeling small. Um, even parts of them may still feel a little small, but I feel like there's a humbleness that comes with this growth that this person didn't have before. And I feel like that's what you're going to notice straight out the gate when this person talks to you. Um, the way that they talk, I hear it's more easygoing. So I feel like you'll, you'll notice that right off the bat, the energy is different. All right, where do I wanna go? I'm gonna go here. But this is a newer deck, so we're gonna hop in here and see what this has to offer. Let me just. All right, I want this. Sensitive deer, clarity, adaptability, divination. Okay, I feel like this has to do with divination. Um, the white deer, white stag. Um, my, I know I've said this bef before, but the beginning of my journey uh, happened, or the majority of my journey, uh, the ascension process started right after I seen a white stag uh, out in the wild. Um, so... This could be happening for someone or you might see white stag type energy um, in, I, I want to say imagery, maybe online as you're scrolling, just something that pops up. Um, you may realize that you're on, I want to say the fast track to ascension um, could be something coming in for you. Let's see, what else do we have about this? This could be more individual messages, but I do feel like... Um, I do see keen insight. So you might be getting ready to embark on the spiritual journey. So we have guardian bear, power, inner strength. I feel like you're being protected as you, um, as you travel through this life. I feel like spirits on deck for you. a connectedness. I feel like it, it does say to nature, but I feel like there's a connectedness to spirit. I'm I'm just being drawn to all the white animals and, th and that's, you know, the look of the deck itself. But um I'm kind of feeling like this is more the spirituality of it all. So you're protected, you're safe as you step onto the path. 
wise rabbit. Um, yeah, keen insight. I feel like this is what's coming for you. Wisdom along the path. It says, make full use of your wisdom to help yourself easily jump over difficulties. I feel like that's what this is going to bring to your life. It's going to be tools for your tool belt. Um, you know, um, knowledge for your book, right? You're going to know how to approach different things as they arise on your path um, because you're doing the work, because you have been through other experiences and you're utilizing those experiences as learning lessons, right? You've learned what didn't work in the past and so you apply that as you step forward in your future, right? You may think that's just common knowledge, but... <sighs> It's sad to say not everyone takes the lessons that are being offered. It's like they take the wisdom. Um, they may not see with clarity. And I feel like that's the difference here. You're stepping on the path and so you will see with clarity. You'll be a uh, easily able to discern the truth um, and the lesson, right, from the experience. So we have Sacred Snake. It says wisdom, grounding, eloquence. Um Get quiet and mediate. Unravel the mystery of the universe. Yeah, there's a beautiful journey happening for you. I feel like there's going to be lots of things coming up for you. Hard work. Yeah, look, this this um, this path is a lot of work. You go through a lot. You experience a lot. Ups, downs, in-betweens. Um, but it's worth it. You may meet a lot of different types of people. Um and be asked to step into a lot of different rooms. Um, some may be heavier in the energy and some may be lighter. Um, so you'll be asked to really experience, uh, um, have experiences that kind of span the gamut, right? Uh, some good, some bad, and some truly just in between. <laughs> um, you have the power to realize your dreams and I feel like that's another thing that comes, that's a side effect of the path. It's becoming authentic, right? Um, and once you do that, you feel very free or, and very comfortable in going after what feels, <clears throat> excuse me, right for you. So I do kind of see that. We have transparent and I feel like, yeah, there's part of that authenticity too. Um, when you're being transparent, this is who I am. It's like, um, I hear on the good side, this is who I am. And, and also on the bad side, this is, this is also who I am. It's like, um, ex expect flaws and expect, expect, uh, the good, right? So it's like, what you see is what you get is what I hear. Um, I feel like you're a very loyal person and you'll be very loyal to yourself along the path. Release your doubts as well and let yourself shine. Um, don't dim yourself to fit in anywhere. Don't omit pieces of yourself to make others comfortable. Shine and shine brightly, right? I feel like spirit is saying that's what you're here to do. Um, I know a lot of times we're taught as we're growing up not to kind of rock the boat, right? Um, when you step into a situation, blend in with the crowd. That We're taught to blend in, to become one of the sheep. Um, but you're not. Um, you're the unicorn, right? So what does the unicorn do? The unicorn stands out. Uh, you're meant to shine. You're meant to stand out. So it's okay to make waves. I feel like we need to say that more often. I feel like more people should be out there making waves, being who they are, following their heart. Um, but I feel like I'm happy to see that you are. You're doing that. Yeah, the elephant. I always look at the elephant as following their path, um, knowing the way. And there's a part of your inner compass that just knows the way. Um, benevolent elephant, gentleness, temperance, goodwill, a pillar of patience and kindness. Bless my heart with your gentle nature. Um, this is who you are. This is what shines through. This is what radiates out from you. There is also a power and a force that comes with the size of this elephant, right? Um, and I feel like that also radiates out from you. People may... 
I feel like you're going to have people who will flock towards you because they want to know you, they want to feel your energy, they want that, that experience, and to others you will frighten them away. No matter how kind you are, your energy is big, um, and they will sense it, and some will run, okay? Um, be okay with that. I, I know that's hard, but it's especially if it's someone that you want to know, um, that will happen. Um, they may eventually come back around when they do some healing work. So there's a plus there. But j just know that uh, your energy will have and you will receive a little backlash for your big, beautiful energy. Um, we're also meant to be an inspiration, but we're also meant to be a trigger. So those who walk the spiritual path, you're meant to trigger others. I know that's hard to understand. You're like, why would I? I don't want to do that. But think of it this way. It's helping them grow, right? And I know that's hard. Um, and I know that's not what you're setting out to do. But sometimes your gentleness, your love will trigger others into a flight response or a war. They'll want to make war with you because I feel like the type of kindness and love that you carry is so far from what's being shown out there that people will think you're the worst villain of all because of what you're trying to portray. It's like, because this is not normal, this is not natural, this is not what we see out there. So automatically, you're going to be the one who is picked at and scrutinized, right? For the love that you have, because what you're offering, unconditional love, it's unheard of. Does it even exist? We know it does. Um, but the people that you may come across out there don't, right? Um, so they may pick you apart until much later on they'll see from a different perspective that you were just trying to help all along, that you weren't really trying to trick them or swindle them in some way, right? I feel like that happens a lot with light workers. So just, you know, a lot of different experiences. As much as you'll have the hard ones, you'll also have the beautiful ones where you will uplift others. You'll help them to see the light within themselves and help them move forward powerfully and beautifully and go on to do big, beautiful things. So there are so many pluses to this. Not only that, but you will feel good walking your path, being your authentic self and shining in your own beautiful way. You'll feel comfortable in that energy, right? Um, so you know, that's also a plus. So you'll have your ups and downs and in-betweens as well. Is there anything else, Spirit? Anything else about this spiritual journey? Oops. Yeah. Elegant horse. Freedom, leadership, intuition. Show other people uh, your daring and graceful ways, right? I feel like you move different. You just do. Um, and I feel like you could be running in one direction and all of a sudden change of the wind and you're off swerving in a different direction, but at full speed. Um, and I feel like that's what Spirit's trying to say. Your moves are going to look strange to some people, but they're perfect for you. You're following your inner compass and, you know, your inner guidance, your, your heart space always knows the way, right? Um, but other people aren't going to be able to visualize your path as easily and as quickly as you will, right? I mean, you trust yourself, you trust your gut, you trust your feelings. So um, you trust your intuition to lead you. The visionary giraffe, it says growth, foresight, vision. You need to, uh, you need to heighten my awareness and intuition. So I feel like that's the thing. You're helping others too with the growth and foresight and vision. You're helping to heighten their awareness. Um, maybe waking them up to the fact that they can trust in themselves and their own intuition, their own inner compass, right? Um, I don't know. Everybody's going to be doing these things in different ways, in your own individual ways. Uh, the way you approach things is going to hit a certain crowd, right? All of these beautiful light workers out here are completely different. The way I work my light is going to be sometimes completely different to the way you work yours. It doesn't make it wrong um, at all. It just makes it your individual brand of light and it's all necessary and it's all beautiful. So do things your way, do it your way and shine 
brightly like you should. And I will continue to shine brightly like I should, right? Um, and I feel like there's not enough talk about that. It's like, it doesn't all have to look the same way. Um, we don't all have to believe in the same thing to do good things out there, um, to lead others where they need to be. Um, all light and all beauty and all love comes from one big source, right? Um, we're all just participants helping others. Um, you know, you're, you're here to work, uh, believe it or not. Your soul has incarnated here to assist, um, you are a guide, you're a light, you're a torch, right? Um, your soul shines a certain light that pulls others in. They gravitate to you because your soul has the answers for their soul. Um, so some things we'll say with words, other things we will just radiate out as energy, um, just as a pillar of light to help others. It, it, it switches, uh, switches on or turns keys for others as they move along their journey. So we will have something for them, right? So even when it doesn't seem like you're doing anything in particular, um, you could be uh, on your way to school or you could be at your workplace and just radiating as a pin dot on a map, giving the right energy for those around you. It could be something so simple as that, but so very important, right? Um, you never know how much you're actually doing along this journey, but I feel like you are going to become very conscious of uh, some of the things that you are offering the world. Um, and I feel like it's something you can be proud of because it is your choice to do the work. Spirit says, you know, you're here to do the work um, and they'll offer it to you, but you have to actually say yes to it. So Yes, you should be proud of yourself and also thankful and humble that uh, Spirit has allowed you to do that, to be here to do that. So, you know, creates gorgeous balance. But that's what I'm getting. Is there anything else? Maybe one more. Um, determination, focus, and advancement. It says, tireless and resourceful one. Um, send me your ferocious spirit and spunk. I feel like that's what you have. Sometimes you need to utilize that grit uh, to get through tough situations. Um, we are not exempt from those tough situations. A lot of people think, oh, you're on the spiritual path. You're highly connected. You've got it easy. Wrong. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. Um, there is a lot that we are asked to walk through in order to understand. Um, I do feel like those who are of the light and those who are here as light workers and healers, we are asked to walk through some very heavy experiences in order to understand what others go through, to be compassionate and to be kind and to find that within ourselves to understand. In order to do that, you have to have a like experience, right? Um, otherwise, you say, I can't even begin to understand what you're going through, right? But for the spiritualist who's here to help those uh, traverse those tough situations, we had to first walk through the fires ourselves, right? Um, so there is a lot a lot you'll learn, but it is really a beautiful journey. I've been on the journey uh, for quite a few years myself. Um, and I do kind of feel like, well, mine, I guess mine started as a very young child, but I didn't hit the ascension process until I was a very, I would say a young teen. And I've been going since then. I am quite old now, <laughs> not super old, but old, old enough um, to have had a lot of experiences under my belt. I have had some very heavy experiences, some really light and beautiful ones. What I can tell you about the journey if you're just starting out is it's difficult, but it's so worth it. It's so, so worth it because when you get out on the other side of those hard experiences um, with that knowledge under your belt and with that knowledge, you can help others uh, to see clearly. It's a really beautiful feeling and I feel like it's one of the ones that I live for. I love being able to help others. So I feel like you're going to get there too. Um, so enjoy the journey. It's tough. So big hugs to you in those moments that are heavy, but you've got this. Um, when I say you have all the tools necessary within you, you just kind of through all the experiences, you pull out different pieces of self that help you conquer these things. It's not something outside of you. Everything that you need is within you. Spirit puts you down here 
well equipped with all the tools necessary to conquer whatever it is that they bring you to. If spirit brings you through it, they're going to bring you, uh, brings you to it, they'll bring you through it, right? So I do feel like you need to know that you have everything it takes to shine along this journey. Um, so thank you for doing what you do. I feel like we don't hear that enough either, but um, I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm proud for you. Um, keep shining or Congratulations. Welcome to the path. Start shining. <laughs> um, either way you put it. Okay, let's see. Where are we? Okay, I think I'm going to choose one more. Which one do I want? I want this one. Um, we're going to hop in here and see what spirit has. All right, spirit, what do we have? We have the spider. Meticulous and patient. Coupled with, I want that, whatever you are. The oracle okay again we're getting into that and the moon all right i feel like i'm talking to those who are very tuned in and tapped in or are very tuned in and tapped in in this moment um maybe you're not normally but this is something new um i, I do want to say i hear a keen eye um, on the situation, I feel like you may be walking through a period of uh, moon energy where you can't quite see everything. Certain things are illuminated, but certain key pieces are missing, are hidden in the darkness. So spirit is just letting you know, be patient, be meticulous and patient. Um, categorize those things in your mind, in your mental faculties, the things that you can see. Don't make assumptions about things you can't. Be patient. Those things will shine themselves out into the open soon enough. Um, what is this? Okay. Love and prosperity. Okay. So this could have to do with your love life. This could have to do with your work life. Um, so whether you are a masculine or a feminine, it doesn't matter. This is just the energy of the queen. Now, um, I, I want to say you are in charge of your life. So if someone is giving you half truths, I do want to say it will all come out in the wash or there's an interference and it will all come out in the wash. I do want to say that this situation um, it's like spirit is bringing you through. There's a clear knowing within you that knows that everything's going to come out into the open. And spirit's just saying, be patient. It's coming. All right. The truth is coming. So, yeah, I don't know if it's a long journey brings rewards, right? So this may be a long time coming for this situation to actually open up and for there to be clarity in this situation. This could be with family. This could be with a significant other. This could be with a friend group. Um, this could be in lots of different areas of your life. This could be work-related. But I do feel like whatever this situation is, um, you're going to start shining again. I feel like you're going to be put up in the middle of it all. You're going to start shining so brightly that the other stars are going to look in your direction. I feel like there's just that energy. You've, it's like destiny. You get to where you're going exactly when you're supposed to and not a second before and not a second too late. I want to say that spirit has this um, timeline that you specifically are on for this specific thing. So if it's love, you're waiting on to come into play where it becomes clear. Spirit may have had to hold off on something. So I feel like until the perfect moment for you specifically, it's like if they hand something to you too early, there could be someone around you that might squander your gift instead of you being able to have it right so spirit waits until the condition is perfect to hand over whatever this is it could be the relationship it could be the job and the prosperity and the money and the wealth it could be um you stepping into the spotlight and shining you could be a rising star in some way up on a platform on tv um with your music with your art it doesn't wherever this is for you with your sport with your academics it's like wherever this is for you spirit is just saying there's a perfect time 
and a perfect place for it on your timeline. So don't get discouraged. Just be patient. Uh, be meticulous and patient. Stay focused, I want to say. Um, it will all be revealed when it's supposed to. I feel like, yeah, look, hand of fate, forces beyond your control, intervene. And I feel like this could be coming into play. It could be the love relationship that you've been waiting on. Why can't I find the right partner? Why is it it seems like nobody's around that's all my level or nobody is quite ready for my type of energy, right? It's because they had to do the work too. So maybe spirit had to hold off on that. It's like, can't bring this person to you until they're ready themselves, right? So it's not always just about you. Sometimes it, there's a lot of other factors that have to factor in to be right on that point in the path, right? So that person was doing their own thing trying to get to you, right? We have the seer and I feel like part of you deep down, you know I'm not telling you anything that you don't already know, but you probably just wanted the confirmation. It feels good to have the confirmation that these things aren't out of the question or it's not that they're not going to happen for you. Um, I feel like spirit had to tell you um, it's not a no, it's just a not right now. And that may have been frustrating for you, but I feel like when this comes into play, whatever it is for you, it could be more than one of these things as well. When it comes into play, it's going to be Chef's kiss, absolutely perfect, right? And I feel like it's going to be absolutely perfect for you, the talisman. You are destined to succeed. Spirit wants you to know that. Spirit's on deck. Um, your luck will soon change. So it is coming in for you. Your changes are coming. Look, serendipitous, uh, serendipity. It says bright new prospects are on the horizon. You will receive news from afar. This is also the caduceus. This is the healing energy as well. I do feel like um, once everything comes into play for you, you're going to feel healed. I feel like there's a part of you that is sad that you had to wait. Um, and maybe the grumpy... Um, impatient part of you that felt like, well, it's never coming. Whatever this is, is never going to get here for me, right? Um, you could have been pouting just a little bit about it. You're entitled to that. Uh, we're entitled to feel all of our feelings, right? Um, but Spirit's just saying, it is coming. It, it really truly is. It's just, we have to wait for the right moment for you. Spirit knows what that is. Part of your soul already knows what that is. Um, yeah, you reached the gate, so you had to wait. A barrier kept you from your goal or whatever it is that you wanted. Um, Spirit was saying, focus elsewhere. Use your skills to aid others on this spiritual journey. Um, if you fall into what you're doing, um, it's like time flies when you're having fun. And I feel like when you're doing what you love and you're helping others, um, sharing the gifts that you have, um, all of a sudden you'll turn around and blink your eyes and you'll, you'll rub your eyes and be like, oh wow, my thing is here. Uh, whatever it is I've been waiting for, here it is, right? And the whole time you've becoming, you've been becoming. So good fortune and friendship. I feel like you've got a lot of great things coming in your direction, collective. Um, all these gorgeous light workers and healers. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult, but you've really got it coming towards you. All this good stuff is really, it is going to pan out for you in a really beautiful way. Um, and I want to say get ready because here it comes, right? All right. Yeah. Keep, um, I heard, I saw the stars card as I was folding, you know, folding the cards together. And I heard, um, keep reaching for the stars. You will land among them. Uh, so whatever it is that you do, keep reaching, keep going. Um, stay busy. I feel like, and your, your gifts will just appear for you. All right, let's see. Shake the letters around just a bit. Let's see. What do we have for the collective here, Spirit? Like this. And that. All right. Quite a bit today. All right, let's see. Bear with me. Up oh, there's an empty. So if you don't see your initials or your person's initials, you feel free to tuck it in there. I heard if you're looking to spell their full name, 
you can utilize that blank. So that's for whoever it's for, if that's your thing and you'd like to see if someone's full name is out there um, or your full name is out there, you could do that. All right, any other? I heard something like do the math. And then I heard the math ain't mathing. So for someone who's going through a rougher situation, I may not have touched on your story today, but I am kind of getting a little something along the lines of suffering through a toxic situationship. And um, it's like this person is trying to convince you of something, um, but it's like, I just hear the math, it's not mathing. Or you have a kid that is trying to, I wanna say pull a fast one, pull one over on you. It's like they think you were born yesterday and you're just looking at them like, you know, I wasn't born yesterday. I, I kind of see what you're trying to do. So it could be something like that as well. And I'm feeling like um, I hear nip it in the bud. So if it's a little white lie, um, and you have a young one, try to nip that early. Um, you know, Spirit's saying, as a side note, you want to nip that early. It's not funny. You have to address it, right? Um, because it can become a problem in the future if you don't. It's like you can laugh about it later when, when they don't know you're laughing about it, right? Um, but try not to laugh in front of them as you're correcting them, right? Um, there is something along those lines coming out. Let's see. I hear something about October. So we are in the month of October. If you get here on time. I heard I just love the magic of it. So someone could, your person or you could absolutely love October. I know I personally love October. It is my favorite month. Um, let's see. I hear begin again. Um, and it's funny too, because I was seeing the leaves die out. Um, uh, and I heard begin again. It's all the cycle of life, right? Um, so I don't know if you've been a couple of seasons without this person or a couple of cycles without this person, but they're, they may be looking to come back through in October, um, to begin a new cycle with you. Um, I heard something about an opal. So, I don't know if it's somebody's birthstone, could be the month. I do see red, so red could be somebody's favorite color. Um, I heard something about Scrooge. So I also think that Christmas could be very important here as well. And I hear I'm not a Scrooge. So I don't know if, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like somebody feels guilty about the time that they they took or the time they didn't spend I don't know these are all pretty vague so take what resonates toss the rest if it's not for you leave it on the board it's for somebody else um I'm hearing names and I don't know if somebody has had to deal with in a past relationship like a lot of name calling or um just derogatory like it's like spitting venom. Um, I don't really love that. And I feel like what you might be getting this time around is sugar. I'm seeing sugar cubes. So um, you might have been in a relationship where someone like spit venom at you all the time. It was like harsh and cruel. And then you might come into a new relationship with someone who is very sweet and sugary and they always have something nice to say or they're always thankful for the things that you're doing and they make it a point to mention that. I feel like you've you've um, experienced one extreme and you will be experiencing the other extreme. So it's like, um, I hear sugar and spice and everything nice. So I feel like you went from venom to sugar and spice. Um, and I feel like it's something you're really going to enjoy. Yeah, I heard something about, you want to know what bugs me? And it's like, I feel like there's going to be a lot of open ears. So a lot of listening. So someone provides a really good listening ear for your past things. And it's like, it. so it turns into, it's like, you know what I don't like? How sometimes people yell at, 
other people and they, they don't know how to treat them. And then they'll say, but you're not like that. It's like, you never have a harsh thing to say. It's, it's kind of like that is what I'm hearing. So yeah, I hear sugar, sugar, sweet, sweet. Um, and you know, this is also October, so there could be sugar and sweets involved this month. Um, I hear treat yourself, <laughs> but you don't have to go overboard, but treat yourself, right? Um, I hear treat yourself to something sweet. So for those of you out there, um, maybe you need a cheat day. It doesn't need to be a whole day. It could be like a cheat meal or something. <laughs> Okay, I heard a Lucky Mermaid and their hook, line, and sinker. Oh my goodness. Okay, one message, just one. There is someone out there and they are looking to catch you. You're the, the mystical, the elusive. Um, so whether you're masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. You're being represented by the mermaid. Um... The energy I'm getting here is you're the elusive. This is the person they want to forever with. And they're hoping that what they come with, come towards you with, will catch you hook, line, and sinker. They're looking to be very lucky in love. Um, the little petals of this clover are, of course, heart-shaped, right? So they're looking to be lucky. They're look at, You're like the missing piece of the puzzle. Um, I feel like they found you. Now they just have to get you. They just have to hook you, right? Um, really sweet energy. I feel like they see your value. They see your magic. They see you're different. Um, and they see that you're worth it. And so they're coming in your direction. I really love it. That is what I have for you all. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to this Afiyukas tribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.